Okay, so I received my Tektronix 2465A scope today. Um, I wanted to actually film a video of taking it out of the box and testing it out to see if it worked. Uh, I got it used at a considerable discount at an online auction. Um, by the way, the 2465A is a 350 megahertz scope. Um, it's analog and it's uh, four channel. I had a probe left over from the last scope that I owned. Um, it's a P6120. So we'll test that out in a second. So let me go ahead and turn it on. You can see uh, we can observe the boot up time. Okay, so got channel one on. Go ahead and test out the channels here. Of course, I've already done this once before, but I just thought, why not try it again? So we've got all four uh, traces. Let's turn up the uh, time base. Maybe we can get them more pleasing to the eye uh, for the on the trace there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cut those off. Don't need the extra channels right now. And go ahead and try this probe out here. Okay, looks like it needs some compensation. Let me get my tuner. Back up a bit for you. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yep, looks pretty good. So, we know that all the traces are working. Let's try the uh, scale illumination. Yeah, it looks like it's working. It's not super bright, but then, then again, the lights, we're right underneath the lights here in my lab. So, so far, so good. Uh, now we're uh, picking up the uh, 60 hertz. Um, there we go. 60 hertz from the uh, line current, my body's acting as an antenna extension to the probe we get the same thing, probably better results actually with a, a alligator clip and a piece of wire but uh, anyway uh, this is it, this is the um, actually got a really good deal on this, paid under two hundred dollars for this scope and I've got I now have uh, 350 megahertz bandwidth as well as four channels so uh, this thing keeps up uh, the way it's working. Uh, say that I took a little bit of a gamble, but it surely paid off this time. 73.